Hi, I'm Kim Heniatis. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to do a wine review on Flirty Bird Sauvignon Blanc. This one is from Aldi's and I believe it's $3.99. So this is one of their really cheaper ones. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I like the bottle. It's adorable. Very cute for summer parties. Got a little chicken here with some pearls and high heels and it says eccentrically yummy. And I guess this is a 2012 vintage it says. So I poured some and let's see how it goes. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I often get this smell and like all my friends who drink, they just never get this smell to wines, but it has a mushroomy smell to me. Now before you're like, ew, gross. It's, it's more earthy and it's not bad. It's just different. And um, so if you don't like mushrooms, that might put you off, but... It's usually things that smell mushroomy don't taste mushroomy, which is good. Uh, there's only one that I've had, and it was from, I believe, Vir West Virginia, Virginia, one of theirs. It, it tasted mushroomy, too, but it was different, but not for everyone. Hmm. <laughs> this, normally Sauvignon Blancs are citrusy and kind of zesty and you know, fruity, and this is a little bit darker, maybe hence the mushroom smell to it. It's not bad. Um, I wouldn't say it's your typical Sauvignon Blanc, though, so if you really like Sauvignon Blanc, this one you might not enjoy as much. I really don't get citrus to it. Um, the the taste is okay. It's nothing I would rave about. The ending is fine. I don't get the nice zesty that you normally get from a Sauvignon Blanc. Um, it doesn't like leave any taste behind or anything either. Well, it's a little sad. I um, I'm not going to recommend this one. It's okay, you know, if you want some cheap wine just to get drunk on, I guess this would be fine. But if you actually enjoy drinking wine and want to enjoy what you're tasting, you might want to pass on this one. A little sad. I think one of the few Aldi's wines that I've not enjoyed as much. But hey, you know, if you're already drunk and you got a bottle of this and you're out by the fire or whatever, it might just be perfectly fine for you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you come back again um, for more wine and tea reviews. And until then, have a great day or evening or whatever time of the day it is where you're at.